I am Bill Cortright with Living Right with Bill Cortright. And this is the Stress Mastery Podcast, where we take you from the science to the spirituality of stress mastery. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Stress Mastery Podcast. I am Bill Cortright, and I'm here with the super millennial, David Barreto. How you doing, Big Dave? I'm doing good. This week, our topic is... Stress mastery, closing the year. So yesterday, David kicked it off on Mondays with the Super Millennial. It was on the Stress Mastery community. Today's Health Huddles, we're talking on the diet and exercise of Stress Mastery. On Wednesday's Meeting of the Minds, we're going to talk about every human being is hardwired for behavior, and we're going to talk on the three minds. A connection Thursday, we're going to talk the spiritual shift. And this week, there will be no book study. We are going to be kicking off to end our year next week. We are going to do throwback interviews from history all the way back to 200 episodes to that. So we're going to go back. But we're going to kick it off this Friday and we're going to have our Christmas interview with... uh, Throwback on the artist within Mark Middlestead. And it's not, and it's episode number eight forty eight. So you know that we're going to start that. So this week we are going through stress mastery, and we were doing this to close out the year. Next week we will end the year with different interviews. I have a great list for you. We'll go over that. Uh, but before we kick off our Fridays with uh, Mark Middlestead's interview, and we're going to take, we're actually taking the top downloaded episodes of the interviews that we've had. In fact, I have the list right here. I think the oldest one will take us back to episode 253. Jesus. Paul Baudry. Oh, that's, that's ah, cool yeah. Cool so, I mean, it's been, I'm going back, people, to some of the best interviews we've had. And then we're going to go into 2021 and start kicking it hard. You yeah, know you know, it's, it's a shame because I forgot about that one. It, it's a blessing and a curse to have close to a thousand episodes. Yes, yes. And so we will definitely, we'll, hit, we'll be hitting a thousand episodes in January, mm-hmm. too. So we'll be hitting a thousand episodes. So this week... I want to get you guys set, right? You guys have been working on higher goal setting. Um, the community's 90-day challenge is coming to an end. And so we'll talk about that a little bit. But this week, we are going through the topic of stress mastery. And we're going to close out 2020. In today's Health Huddles, well, let's discuss the diet and exercise of stress mastery. So we mastery is the ability to perform a skill without conscious thought. Stress mastery is the skill of conflict resolution. Every single conflict we have is a program activated. Every negative emotion, every negative thought is a program activated. This programming is set through the stages of development with the first program set by age seven years. And I'm going to get deeper into this in tomorrow's episode, and, and I'm going to build on these next three episodes through the entire seven steps of stress mastery. So if we look at every human being goes through these stages of development. Thus, every human being is programmed. And this programming has the sole purpose for the individual to serve and play out the role in the tribe. The individual is programmed to serve the whole of the tribe. And all of this is playing out without any conscious input. Now, the human being is hardwired for behavior. This behavior is dictated by what is held in mind. What is held in mind is the programming set. This programming is your belief systems and habits. It is this programming that paints the picture of the world you see and the world you defend and attack. The human being is hardwired for behavior. This behavior is dictated by what is held in mind. What is held in mind is the focus. The human being is either in one of two focuses. The fear focus, which restricts perception and creates 
perceptional blindness. This actually keeps the individual stuck in the problem, unable to see a solution, even if it was right in front of them. And the other focus is the growth focus. And this is the focus of expansion. It is here that the human being can build new skills. These are new habits. It is in the growth focus when we can be flexible and willing to re-identify and create solutions to these so-called problems. The human being is hardwired for behavior. This behavior is managed through the five parts of the human construct. This construct of the human is designed to support the programming set through the stages of development. You with me? So far. <laughs> so I'm trying to wrap it all into one thing for you guys. So if we look at the human construct, part one, the human survival system, this is what sets focus. This focus is set through our perception of our senses. There are two aspects of this alarm, of this system. There is the alarm system, the sympathetic nervous system, red zone. It sets the focus in fear. The recuperation system is the other part of this survival system. It's the parasympathetic nervous system, green zone, sets the focus in growth. So part one sets the focus. Part two is the stress loop. This is the program activated in the head brain, communicates to the heart brain. The heart brain changes its variance and communicates back to the head brain, completing the stress loop, setting our state. This is the emotion or feeling of the activated program. That takes you to part three, the mind identity. It is here where either you're mindful and you break the stress loop and turn off the alarm system, red zone, switching our focus from fear to growth, turning on the recuperation system, green zone. Or it is here where you become stressed out. This is all determined by who takes conscious mind control. If you become present and mindful and find the now, you are in control. If the ego takes over conscious mind control, you now become stressed out. And this leads us to part four of the construct, the body identity. The body evolved, the human body evolved over millions of years to support the focus held in mind. The fear focus will put the body and every cell in the body into full force in a fight and or fl flight state. In this focus of fear, the body shuts down all aspects of wellness and health with the sole purpose to escape danger. Now, if you took control of the mind identity, that part three, this activates the growth focus and it changes the body. Because when the recuperation system activates, the body will respond and support the growth focus with a calm state. Hormones communicate, wellness is connected, and the brain's ability to expand and build new skills is now activated. Part four of the human construct, the body identity, is set to serve what is held in mind. And the first four parts of this human construct leads us to part five. It's called our identity base, which determines your behavior. We are at any given time in the identity base of event, judgment, and reaction, which is the identity base to support the fear focus in the mind. Or we are in event awareness response, which is the identity base to support the growth focus. The human being is hardwired for behavior. This behavior is dictated by what focus is held in mind. In other words, it's which part of the human survival system, which nervous system is activated, the red or the green zone. Do you understand? Yeah. I, that brings me to something I used to say all the time. I was like, oh, I'm so stressed out I can't focus, all right? And this made me realize that I was You're right. focusing I'm being on being distressed. stressed out. Yes. And that's so why I wasn't focusing. We were always focusing on something that clicked so hard. And, and we have to understand every human being 
goes through that programming of the stage. I'm going to get into it tomorrow deeper. But every one of us goes through that programming and those stages of development and the construct that I'm talking about here of the, of the human being, the human construct is how we serve those programs. It's what drives our behavior. When we say we're hardwired for behavior, this is the construct. Every human being operates the same way. And the challenge we have, the challenge of modern man is the human mind, the development and programming of the cage mind, the conscious and the subconscious mind and the human body is really built for one thing, survival. And the challenge today is that our human construct was designed to serve the gatherer and hunter of 200,000 years ago. The construct I just explained is hardwired to serve the Homo sapien of 200,000 years ago. And even then, it took millions of years for that Homo sapien, which is modern man, to develop and evolve. And the human beings we are today has the same construct of our ancestors of 200,000 years ago. And this human construct is designed to continuously monitor our environment. If anything comes into your environment that doesn't match your programming set as a child, the alarm system red zone activates. The human being is hardwired for behavior. This behavior is dictated by what is held in mind. When that alarm system red zone activates, it puts your body in a state of disease. It makes every cell reactive. It was designed to be a very powerful burst of energy and then shut off. And the challenge we have as modern humans is the stress response of the body is a hormonal response that cannot be shut off. Our brains, through what is called the amygdala, is constantly monitoring our environment. Anything that doesn't match your perception of what should be, anytime you go in to defend an attack, it sets the human construct as... Part one, the human survival system, fear focus red zone. Part two, the stress loop activates and sets. Part three, the mind identity. We cannot get control of the conscious mind and the ego takes conscious mind control and we get caught in the problem and we defend attack whatever has triggered the stress response. And part four, the body identity. What it does, it explodes with stress hormones, cortisol, rises and signals to your liver to pump the body full of sugar and insulin spikes attempting to get the sugar into the cells so we could fight or flight. And part five of the construct, your identity base gets locked into event, judgment, and reaction. This is the condition of being stressed out. It is abnormal for the human being to be in this condition. And we believe that this condition it's happening because of events outside ourselves, But the truth is, the ego is holding mind identity and conscious mind control with stories about the problem. Stuck in the worry of what could happen or the regret of what happened in the past. The human being is hardwired for behavior. This behavior is dictated by what is held in mind. Every single conflict... Every negative emotion, negative thought is a program activated and your body will support this process. Do you understand? Yeah, I used to be so used to being stressed out all the time that when things were going good and this whole process wasn't happening, I felt uncomfortable. You yes. Know? Yeah, because <laughs> it's crazy, right? It's crazy to yeah, think, but it, I really did. I thought something was wrong. I, I just cannot... I cannot stress is the wrong word. Right? I cannot stress enough. <laughs> emphasize. Emphasize enough that you, if you don't understand this, you can never take control of your body and your health. Mm -hmm. You will never do it. 
and those in the community get the Developing the Mastermind book, where do they find that? Uh, in the resources, and then if you guys want to see a little bit what we talked about with it, go into the community recordings, and we have the Q&A that we kind of discussed this you know, together. Yeah, because this book, and you have the updated book in yep. there, the updated one, and it's all updated and everything else. This book is basically a, a, a syllabus of what we're going to be teaching in Stress Mastery for the next couple mm -hmm. of years. And it gives you everything so you can understand what we're talking about here. Because Stress Mastery is building the skill of conflict resolution. Conflict. The program is either resolved in reaction or in fear. And this strengthens the program, activated, and keeps you stuck in that fear focus or... We to develop the skill or habit to resolve the activation in response. And this releases the program that caused the conflict in the first place. This skill of conflict resolution and stress mastery is built through those seven steps of stress mastery. And this begins with taking control of the body identity. We cannot stop stress activation. That's my point today. You can't stop it. So if anything isn't as it should if something or anyone doesn't meet your expectation you're going to get set off and what gets set off part one of the construct the alarm system red zone and that's going to go to part two the stress loop will connect part three the mind identity it's here's where we have the opportunity to break the stress not and not become stressed out but here lies the challenge. Part four is the body identity. Remember, the body supports the focus activated in the mind. If the mind is stressed and focus is in fear with the alarm system activated, red zone, the body and the stress response, the hormonal response of stress is blasting away. So if your diet is bad, or I should say your diet is not optimal, the construct goes into the, it get, I shouldn't say goes in the alarm system, gets stuck in the alarm system. And this function will allow the ego to take mind identity by assuming conscious mind control. See, if you're, you can't stop stress. So when that alarm system goes off and that stress loop connects, it happens in one twenty thousandths of a second. You can't stop it. But if your mind identity, if you can create presence, find the now and awareness, you can break it. But it's practically impossible if your body is already imbalanced before you get stressed. Too much sugar, not enough protein, wrong timing of meals, wrong combinations of food, not drinking enough water. If the mind becomes stressed, and the body's already stressed because it's imbalanced, what do you think the chances that you will be able to become present are? Yeah, you're, you're trying to do it with your hands tied and your feet it's tied together. It's practically impossible. And this is why, this is, how can one be mindful if their body is running or fighting for its life? That's the way the body is functioning. How can you find the now when every cell in the body is in fight or flight? The answer, you can't. See, the first two steps of stress mastery, the first two steps of building that skill to master conflict resolution. Do you understand? When you find stress mastery and you have the skill, the habit of conflict resolution, it automatically breaks a stress loop. The ego can't take conscious mind control. It's impossible. So you'll have stress, but you can't become stressed out. So when we talk about those first two steps of building the skill to master conflict resolution, they are diet and exercise. If you're looking to build your best life, if you're looking to set goals and make real change, you must re- purpose diet and exercise the purpose of diet in 2021 is to manage the stress response because we're not 
built to have all the activations that we have in today's world. We're built to live, and I'm going to talk about this tomorrow, we're built to live in a clan of 150 people. Not to be consistently bombarded second after second with stimuli. So we don't want that to change. We like our modern life. I agree. So you have to manage the body and the purpose of the diet. The only way to manage the stress response is the diet. It's what you eat, when you eat, combinations of food you eat will determine if that stress response, which is the cortisol and insulin hormone, is managed. And the questions you must answer to have the right diet, does your body process carbohydrates? Does your body need carbohydrates? When should you consume carbohydrates? When should you not eat them? How much protein does your body need to repair? What is the right type of protein for your body? Does your body process fats? Should you increase fats? Should you lower fats? How is your inflammation system operating? What is your stress responder? The stress responder is how your physiology works. One, are you a cage rattler? When you have to eat in a manner to manage the adrenals. Or are you a hormone trap? When you have to eat in a manner to allow the body to recuperate and repair. Or are you a stress belly? When a plant-based diet is the optimal approach. You have to know these things or you're going to be guessing. And if you're looking to get some peace in your life, if you're looking for love, joy, and peace, you can't find that without changing. And tomorrow you're going to learn a lot about how the programming system works and why we're wired this way and what we have to do about it. Now, to find answers to those questions, you can come into the Stress Mastery community. It's www.stressmasterycommunity.com and you can take the Wellness Evaluator. And it and so, David, explain to them, because you can come in free for 30 days. I really, honestly, if I didn't have to use the platform where you have to put in a credit card, I wouldn't use it, but we don't have a choice. And it's just the way it is. And I apologize if that offends you. But I really don't mind if you come in and if you can't afford $24 a month, I understand. It's okay. I really do get it, especially nowadays. Come in and get what you need and leave. We, we, we respect that. I really do. Because you guys are supporting us through the podcast. We see the numbers. But I'm telling you, come in. How do they do the wellness evaluator? Yeah, so it's, it's, it's actually pretty simple. Um, let's say you guys sign up today. Um, as soon as you finish making your profile, it's going to take you to the alpha class. Now, the alpha class that we have in there, the first thing that it's going to prompt you to is doing your wellness survey. It's the first step that it asks you to do. There's a reason for that. And then it takes you through the basic steps. If you guys are already in there and you haven't done it, which there are very few of you guys, all you have to do is go to resources, click wellness survey, click it, fill it out, send it to us, and we'll take care of the rest. I also would do the adrenal evaluator. It's in the same, it, same Yeah, thing as you know what I'm saying? Yep. Because if you're not doing blood work, if you're doing blood work, fantastic, because then I got you, right? Blood work, I, I've got it, right? But otherwise, if you're doing a wellness survey and you're doing the adrenal evaluator, it gives us a pretty good picture of what is going on in your body, right? So if you're interested, you can also email us at david at livingrightwithbillcourtright.com. And we, we will even send you the labs if you're interested in what to get have your doctor draw for you for your physical. Just go. It's david at livingrightwithbillcourtright.com and it's in the show notes. Okay, and if you're interested in really getting your health dialed in in 2021, you can apply for wellness coaching. Again, we don't have many spots open because we're in the beta phase of our program, the Go Right program, which you're going to hear a lot about going into next year as, as we're starting to build the kits and the supplements are being made. You guys can still come in and you can also inquire about that. If There is spots open still, so inquire about it. So that's how you figure out your diet. Now, exercise, people. 
One of the things when you come into the community, there is a book. It is not the latest book um, on the Go Right program, but it is called the Pause Plan um, Lifestyle Program. The Pause Plan Effect, right? Mm -hmm. And this is a book with all the science in it. It's a 230-page book. You just go in and you download it and you got the book. And it, it really explains a lot. What's changing in that book really is terminology. It's not much else. A, a little bit changing in uh, uh, programming. We've, we've modified. Not much. So, but the exercise part is, is solid. It's one of the best exercise chapters is in that book. And you got to ask yourself for exercise. Are you a protector or a scout? In other words, are you one of those who should focus on more cardio and some resistance training? Or should you focus on more resistance training and light cardio? You understand that our body, if you exercise wrong, you again will put the body identity into a stress state and it's going to make it impossible to break the stress loop. It just can't be done because the body supports the mind and the mind, we can't stop stress. You understand? So you want to know also in that book, we have your how to figure out your training zones in a very advanced formula, and you can figure out your HRV. What is your heart rate variability? You see, exercise is stress. It's only beneficial if you can recuperate from it. And in fact, if you exercise wrong, or if your diet does not support the training that you're doing, you will break down the metabolism. Exercise has a single purpose, where diets purpose is to manage the hormonal stress response. Exercise's single purpose is to create healthy biomarkers. The key biomarker for longevity, for health, optimal health, number one is muscle. If you're not repairing due to the body being stuck in disease and stress, you these markers will break down and they fall like dominoes. If muscle comes down, strength comes down. Now you have joint issues. If that number one, muscle comes down, number two, strength, number three, the basal metabolic rate drops. Your body burns less energy, metabolism. Number four, fat will increase. If your body is in a catabolic stress state, the muscle to fat ratio will fall and it will lead you to number five of the biomarkers is the aerobic capacity, the oxygen in the body. When that drops... This is what causes the blood pressure to rise, the blood sugar to rise, and the cholesterol to rise. And those are the health markers that are determined by muscle. And then number nine is bone density decreases. And number 10, our temperature regulation goes off. It's why older people get so cold. And so when you look at that, what is the key? Muscle is the key. And muscle, understand, when you are stressed out, in other words, the body identity is stuck in stress. Why? It's supporting the mind. It's supporting the nervous system. It's supporting the focus of fear. It's supporting the red zone. Anything else I can add in there? I think that's all of it, right? The body can't burn fat. It's impossible. So the body will burn sugar and muscle. And those biomarkers will break down. You see, you guys, this is a science. You can... You, you, let's say it's uh, it's the new year and you are not ready to start the diet, but you want to start your personal development. What do you do then? Movement. I got it. Here's what you do. So let's say you're ready to start working on yourself, stress mastery. You want to get into some coaching, but you're just not ready to start the diet. You don't want to start exercise yet. But without it, you just heard this episode, it's impossible to change the mind. But there's ways of doing that. Let's say that it's the new year and you're not ready to start your diet and exercise, yet you want to start that process of stress mastery and building the skill of conflict resolution. And you want to start your personal development. Here's how you do it. Number one, you set yourself in time-restricted eating. And if you really want to manage that, go six hours. If you're eating within six hours, I don't give a crap what you eat. You're still managing the insulin hormone, which means you're managing. You have such a fast period, you're managing the stress response. Number two, got to drink water. If you don't drink two to three waters, three liters of water to a gallon, then none of this else matters. You aren't going to manage the body. It's impossible. 
So drink water. Number three, it's movement, 20 minutes a day. I don't care what you do. I don't care if you walk in place. I don't care. Number four, set the day. That's your Green Focus Power Hour. Number five, close the day. That is transitioning your roles from work to home. If you do those five things, time-restricted eating one, two, drink two to three to a liters to a gallon of water a day, three, movement for 20 minutes, four, set the day with that green focus power, five, close the day by just pausing and transition your roles, you will be on your way to stress mastery. Now, eventually you're going to have to optimize that diet, but you don't have to start that way if you don't want to. Thoughts? Covered a lot, I know, but I got to get this out there because I'm not going to talk about carbs and protein and fats and it doesn't matter if you don't know how your body works. Yeah. It just doesn't matter. Yeah, I think if somebody does this consistently, you're, you're going to want that next step. So if you aren't ready for, like you said, the diet, you know, right now, you're going to want that next step. It's like anything. Any I have other- clients. I have clients like that. So I have clients that come in, right? My clients are that I personally coach are very high C-level guys. They're, they're paying thousands and thousands of dollars for coaching. And they're coming in because they want productivity or they want focus. They don't even want to talk about diet. I'm okay. Let's not. And then what happens is I put them into this regimen, time-restricted eating, and I start working on them. And I start working them through the process. The same process is in the stress mastery community, you guys. The same modules. And I start working them through there. And then what happens is I start changing the mind. What does the body do? Follows. It supports the mind, right? And now they're ready. And every single time. In fact, I got one gentleman who didn't want to look at diet. But right now, after six months, is in the best shape of his life in his 50s. Because we started out that way. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Yeah. Comments there, Dave. You're up, bud. Not nah, like 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 you said. I, I think it goes along with anything else. When you learn a skill, you want to learn what the next skill is. I don't care what it is. You start out driving, and you really like driving. You want to learn it to the next skill and apply it to this. Same thing with with the diet, exercise, and your personal development. If you haven't had that yearning or that want or that feel like you're ready for it, you haven't done it consistently enough. Meditation was one of the worst things I've ever done in my life to begin with. And now I'm seeking new ways to do it, seeking different things. And if you asked me in the beginning, I never would have wanted to do that. You know, same thing with diet. You may not have to focus on that now, but you you need to start a consistent action now. And as you grow, you're going to want to find out new techniques and figure out what's for you. So like I said, if, if, if it's something that you're not ready for right now, be consistent with this and, and you will. And so tomorrow, this was step one and two of stress mastery, diet and exercise. Tomorrow, we'll go into the next three steps. Name your ego, let go, technique, green focus, power. And we're going to be talking on how every human being is hardwired for behavior and how the three minds work and how these techniques work on the minds. Anything else? Interesting. No, I'm good. I need a closing note here. (laughs) <laughs> that's it for today's show our mission here is to create a shift in the planet you can join us on this mission by simply like share subscribe links are right below the show also if you want to get a hold of us stress mastery community links are below the show you want to email david or myself links are below the show as always until next time stay inspired <laughs>